Hey, welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. I'm Doc Holly and I'm so excited that you're here. We're going to be doing cycle syncing workouts where we actually work with your divine female biochemistry to take advantage of your hormonal ebb and flow throughout your menstrual cycle so you can really optimize your fitness results. Today is a really fun one. We're working in the ovulatory phase where we have the most energy. Estrogen and testosterone are at their highest so we can push and recover really well. So get ready for some weights today. You're gonna need a heavy and a lighter set of weights and we'll fuse it with a little bit of a yoga warm up, and then we'll get into the weights. Let's have some fun. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you on the yoga mat. We're gonna start right into the work today with some core. Let's start lying on your back. Point your toes up to the sky. Flatten your lower back as you engage your core firm. You're coming your navel down to your spine. Good, lift your arms. Chin is nice and tucked. From here, scissor kick your legs down. Nice long legs, even your glutes are working. Then lift them back up and we'll cycle through these scissor kicks. Controlling the movement with your center, with your core. And don't hold your breath, make sure you're breathing. Start to connect to your body as we work. Yes, I know we're starting off with not easy stuff today. Jump right into it, but you can do it. Stay connected and let go of the Be completely present as we do one more of these. Back up to the sky from here. Reach your arms up to your toes, keeping them nice and pointed. Chin is tucked, so no work is in the neck. If you do feel it in the neck though, take your hands behind your head if you need to. Pull through for 10, nine, good, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Hug your knees in, rock and roll all the way up. Come into a high plank position. On your hand, step, step back into a plank. Engage that full core, glutes, thighs, lower belly. Nice, once you got that, lower onto your forearms. About shoulder width apart. Protract your shoulders. That means you're puffing up your upper back. Nice hollow body. Swivel your hips side to side. To the right, center, left, center. Coming onto the edges of your feet. Getting those obliques working. Good. Swivel back and forth. Five more per side. For four. Making sure your low back isn't doing any of the work. It's all in your core. For two. Yes. One to the left. Come through center. Now we're gonna do something a little sneaky. Lower your hips like you're about to touch your hips to the floor. And lift them back up. Teepy your hips, squeeze your butt. Lower down towards Sphinx and lift back up. Two, three, four, Killer. More for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down to your belly. Inhale, lift your chest through your shoulders. Good. Exhale, bring your hands back. Push up into a first downward facing dog. Awesome. Start to move through it as you pedal out your feet. We're already kind of warmed up. So find your pose, find your perfect down dog, whatever that is right now, feeling into this moment, knowing you're exactly where you should be right now. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky, point the toe. Exhale, right knee to nose, step between your hands, right into crescent lunge, square the hips, Engage your lower belly, rise. Lift your arms up 
and lengthen the side body. Inhale, look up. Exhale, open. Warrior two. Maybe you adjust the back foot, tuck the right sit bones under, and turn that right knee out a little bit so you can see the right big toe. Inhale, lift the crown to the sky. Exhale, skandasana to the back. Turn the left foot out, sit into that left lower hip as the right toes and kneecap face the sky. Good, power back up, extended side angle. Rebend that right knee, reach that right arm forward, elbow in or hand as the left arm sweeps all the way up and open, finding length from your fingertips all the way down to the blade of your left foot. Take a big deep breath in. Exhale, look down, left hand comes down. Come onto the outer blade of the left foot and stack your right foot on top. If this is too much, lower your left knee. If you've got it, let's push it. Lower the hips and lift the hips. Lower and lift, side plank hip dips. Making sure your hips are stacked and your shoulders are stacked. Super strong here, good for five, Four, three, two, one. Full plank, Saranga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a breath, inhale through the nose. Exhale, release. Inhale, left leg points to the sky, three-legged dog. Look forward, come forward, crescent lunge. Engage those inner thighs as you rise. One swift motion, inhale. Exhale, open, warrior two. Maybe you adjust and expand your stance. Find your depth and strength. Good, inhale, look forward. Exhale, turn the right toes out, sit back. Surfers lunge to the back of your mat, left toes swivel open to the sky breath in breath out pops back up reach forward to extended side angle as you reach and bend into the left knee right arm reaches up and over find length as you barrel roll your right heart to the sky inhale exhale look down right hand comes down outer edge of the right foot as you slowly lift that left foot and stack it on top of the right. If it's not smooth, which mine is kind of all over the place right now, that's a good thing. We're working hard. If you've got it, lower and lift the hips 10 times using your strong right shoulder too. This is a full body exercise. That's why I love planks <laughs> for four, three, two, one, come through full plank, shift forward and take it through your vinyasa. All the way back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, jump forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, inhale. Look up as the palms come together. Exhale, Samasiti. That brings us to the weight part of our workout. So grab a pair of dumbbells that you'd like to do biceps for if you're working at about 15, 16 reps. So I'm gonna use 10s. Definitely not the heaviest weights for my biceps. And we're going to do a full functional movement, full body movement back into a lunge and then we'll stand and curl. So let's start with the right leg going back, just like we were, were doing a crescent lunge. So step back towards crescent lunge, stand to the front of the mat, and bicep curl. Good, elbow stay fixed, bring the wrist up to your shoulders. Release, and go right back. Lunge, push up, strong curl. You got it? Nice. Work it. Think of the muscles that you're using. So if you're working the biceps, flex. That mind-muscle connection is so important. Three more on this left leg. You can do it. Let's go. One. 
switch. So still bicep curling, but now the right leg's in front, left leg steps back. Nice. One, two. Exhale as you drive up. Inhale as you step back. And try to push fully up with the front foot. Three more. Yes. You got it. One more time. Beautiful. Switching to reverse flies. So this one, typically I would use a lighter weight. So if you have like a three or a five, that would be great. I'm gonna stick with the tens. <laughs> You're gonna start with the hinge. So slight bend in the knees, hips go back. Your back has got to stay super flat. Wrap your arms like you're hugging a tree here. Slight bend in the elbows. Soften your neck. Squeeze your shoulder blades to open the dumbbell to the side. And back down, got it? Open. And working the back of your shoulder blades. Hugging them together. And getting the posterior delts. Back of the arms, five. Five. Four, three, focused, one more. Nice. Now we're gonna do one more of this circuit with a heavy weight. Whatever weight you would do for a shoulder press, we'll do this in kneeling. So starting with my right knee down, left foot up. This is pretty heavy. So by no means do you need to use a 25, but I'm gonna use a 25 because that's what I got for eight reps. So load that dumbbell by your shoulder. I like to use my other hand kind of inside my left knee to push it out and help with that stability. Squeeze your right glute as well and your lower belly. Don't forget about the rest of your body here. From here, drive the dumbbell up and back down to shoulder level eight times. Exhale, drive up. Inhale, lower. Seven. Five, four, let's go. Three, two, one. Good job, that's not easy. Switch sides. Right foot up, dumbbells in the left hand. Regroup your core, strengthen and push for eight, seven, six. Let's get strong here, we can push for four, three, two, one, release. We're gonna do all of that one more time, but let's do a quick puppy pose in between to rest. <laughs> so knees will stay, the hips will stay over the knees. Claw your hands about to the front of the mat and rest your forehead. Tuck your ribs under and find a little bit of rest. Slowing the breath back down. This would also be a great time to have a sip of water. Wipe your sweat off. <laughs> Regroup. You got this, one more breath. And slowly take those hands back in. Let's do a cat cow for fun. Inhale, cow belly pose. Exhale, cat. Let's do it. Round two, stand tall. Let's grab your dumbbells for the bicep curls and get into it. Big lunge back, step forward and curl. Eight per side. Second set, stronger than the first. Let's get it. Three, four, five, easy, six, push up, last time, other leg right into it, make a smooth transition, nice, one, two, three, four, five, almost there, last three curls, try not to swing the dumbbells, make it count, one, good, reverse flies. Hinge your hips back, flattest back you can make. Hugging that tree from here out to the side. And 
and close for 10, 9, 8, 7. Try to make it smooth on the lower. Don't rush it. Enjoy the burn. Three reps. Three, two, and one. Good. I'm glad to be done with those two. And switch. These, these dumbbell workouts are gonna help our yoga practice so much. Think of all those chaturangas we do. This is the work right here. Grab that hubby dumbbell. Let's push it overhead for eight, seven, six, five. Big push up. Yes. Three, two, strong push for one. Amazing. Other side. Got to even it out, right? Lift that dumbbell up and press for eight, seven, six. Keep the core stability. Elbow is slightly in front of the shoulder. Four to go. Nice. Two and one. Come on, how was that for you? Good stuff, puppy pose. Crawl the hands forward. Rest down, taking a mandatory break in puppy pose or really any resting position that feels good to you. Maybe grab a sip of water and relax. Take some deeper breaths, reconnecting to your breath, body, feeling at ease and feeling at peace. Then when you're ready, crawl your hands back. back Cat cow, inhale, exhale. This time we're gonna start on your back. We're gonna load up the hips with a heavy dumbbell and do some bridges. So make your way onto your back once again. Before I go back, I'll take the dumbbell and reload the hips. From Lower down, walk your feet in. Hug the shoulder blades midline, dig your heels in. Lift your hips up and tuck your tailbone at the top. So it's like shooting directly towards your knees. Lower back down. Lift the hips, tuck under. Little posterior pelvic tilt at the top and just re rest your hips back to the floor. Good, we're gonna do 15 of these. For four, five, six. Squeezing both glutes evenly at the top. Free to go slower than me. Try not to go faster. The tension, we want the tension. It's not always a race. <laughs> and one, slowly take the dumbbell, set it by your side, grabbing the knees to your chest. And we'll take your lighter dumbbells, between like three and 10. Two, do a move I call scaption, which is taking your thumbs up and at a 45 degree angle. So you're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together and lift the dumbbells out like a Y. But we're gonna add on. We're also going to lift the hips up into a high kneeling position as we do it. So start with the dumbbells in your hand, roll the shoulder blades back, Come into high kneeling as you find that one position, squeezing your shoulder blades. Lower down together. Got it? Hip extension. Y pattern. And lower. Also draw the navel in for never forgetting about our core activity. That's so, so important. Good, 10 of these. That was four. <laughs> Five. Six. Looking good over there. Seven. Eight. Nine. Yes, one more time. 10. Beautiful job. This last one, we're not gonna use weights for. We're gonna do a push up into a down dog. So let's start and push. Strong plank body, top of the push up. Shift the shoulders forward. Kind of like a chaturanga, elbows come back. By your side and then push into a down dog. Let's do six. So that's one, 
to push the floor away like you mean it. Good. Push your body away. Floor. Hips up and back. One more time. Stay in the down dog. Stretch it out here. Take a yummy breath of air. Inhale. Exhale. Lower the knees. Round two. Final push here with the weights. Let's move it. Load the weight. You know what we're doing now, so carefully make your way down to the floor. Find your bridge position. Squeeze your shoulder blades back in. Maybe start to dig your heels in. Pull the toes up. As you lift your hips up, you're going to squeeze your butt and lengthen your tailbone through your knees. Easy lower back down. Find that mind-body connection. Then when you're ready, remove the dumbbell. Make your way okay. back into downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet a little bit, get ready. Good, let's take one more breath and down dog. Inhale, come high onto the toes. Exhale, melt the heels down towards your yoga mat. Release tension. And let's get ready for one more. So come down, load your dumbbell. Whatever weight that you're using, carefully make your way onto your back. From there, dig your heels in, set up your bridge nicely. 15 reps, lift up, squeeze your butt, lower back down, 14, 13. Really think about the glutes doing the work. If you feel it in your back or in your quads, you're probably doing something wrong. So regroup, tuck your ribs down, lengthen your tailbone at the top, go through the steps like a little checklist. Am I doing this correctly? Knees aligned over the second toe. Last two. And one, let's hold it at the top this time. Surprise hold for 10. You're welcome, nine, eight. Think of pulling your heels back to you as well. Seven, six, five, four. I know it burns. Stay for the last three, two, one. Amazing, done. Back to scaption. Grab the weights, start in sitting onto your heels and rock pose. We're gonna come to high kneeling as we do our Y. 10 more reps of this for 10, nine, yes, eight, let's push, seven, six, five, stay with it today. Four more reps, good stuff. Three, two, one more good one today. Amazing. Dumbbells next to you, we're done with them. We still gotta do our push up down dog, so let's just do it. Create a high plank, engage the hollow body, shift the shoulders forward, push up, downward facing dog for six, five, strong body, four. One more time. And one. Lower down. Let's end with a nice twist on our back. Move these a little more. And lower down carefully to your back. Squeeze your knees into your chest. Thank yourself for that tough workout today. We'll hug the left knee in, straighten out the right leg. Get ready to twist the left twist knee. Twist your body all the way over. over. Stack the hips, open the left arm nicely, releasing tension. And it's your time to let go. Just release through the twist. Release stress. Release anything keeping you away from this moment. Be completely present in your body. Good, slowly. Let's do, let's do the other side. Draw your knees back to your chest. And switch, right knee in, left leg straight. Make your way over. Open that top right arm. Let go. 
Think elongating all the way from your fingertip down to your ribs, hip socket into the bottom. Let your nervous system harmonize. Coming right back to your body. Slowly come back, knees to chest. Apanasana, give yourself a hug. Inhale. Exhale. Take this Vasana pose. Reach your arms out wide. Reach your feet out wide. Take up space. You deserve this time to rest, even after a weight workout. Let go and enjoy this time to be. I can't wait to see you next time, Yogi. Subscribe, let me know how you did, and I'll see you next workout. Namaste.